Let me go across to Mariam first in Washington, D.C. Mariam, talk us through this pushback from Iranian women. The images are rousing. So many young girls cutting their hair off, fighting against the hijab. Is this just a woke fringe movement? Do you think this is an idea that is catching people's imagination and is likely to become mainstream in the days and weeks to come? Thank you for having me on. Um, since the revolution, the Islamist revolution in 1979, Iranian girls and women have been forced to wear the hijab and Islamic uh, dress. Prior to the revolution, uh, as you can see in, in many images that are available online, Iranian women and girls were uh, walking around doing, you know, going about their business, going into offices, universities, mostly without hijab. Some traditional Iranian women were wearing hijab and chador, but um, many of the younger and urban uh, Iranian women were not covering themselves. The revolution imposed the uh, Islamist dress on women and girls, and immediately after the revolution, uh, women marched on the streets against this imposition. But basically a totalitarian regime took took power and for four decades now has imposed this on women. The pushback from women has been really from the get-go, as I mentioned, but particularly in the last 10, 15 years, um, women have been resisting, subverting the dress code. And, and as social media has uh, gained uh, popularity, as smartphones inside the country are almost ubiquitous now, there is much, much more campaigning and activism against this. But I really need to emphasize that the hijab is a symbol of a totalitarian regime, an Islamist regime, and the people on the streets, the women, the men, are uh, protesting for a regime change from the totality of, of what this type of ideology stands for. Um, and as you mentioned, as your report mentioned, um, Iranian men have been from the beginning uh, very vocal in trying to uh, uh, stop this humiliation of women. And um, now it's in, in cities throughout the country um, and uh, as I mentioned, very, very active online. The protests have existed prior to this. In 2019, there was a massacre of over 1,500 people for being out on the streets in over 200 cities. But this time, because of the ruthless, shocking murder of Mahsa Amini, things do feel different. How different are things now? You say this has been building up for the last 10-15 years, there is now, at least uh, on social media and on images that are coming out in international wires, lots of such images. Do you think this could grow and escalate in a massive movement against the hijab in the months to come? Or do you think this is just likely to be something which kind of comes out, there's a big spark and then it dies out and the flame just dies out? I think the movement is against the regime in total. And I do think that there's great potential for it to be, uh, you know, the killing of Massa Amini being the spark that lights a fire uh, throughout the country. As I mentioned, there have been protests, um, uh, many, many, many protests throughout the country for the last five, six years. And society seems just particularly irate and ready now.